Good evening guys, hope you're having an amazing day. It is Ping here today. We are in the city of Guadalajara. We just got in and I am absolutely starving. Like I am famished. I have not eaten anything today. So we're gonna go on a food tour of the city. I'm super excited. Food here is supposed to be absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go and check out the food scene here in Guadalajara. Let's go ahead and start eating. Well, we've just come around to one of the nights. I mean, today's a Sunday night, so it's really busy here in Guadalajara and they have this night market. Like, it is absolutely insane. It's right in front of the church because they have mass all the way until like 11 p.m. So there's a ton of people here. It's so lively and there's so much food. Like, it is a complete night market like I feel like I'm in Bangkok with the amount of food there is here I I literally can't wait I gotta start eating this is insane Dame unos eh, tamales de chile verde con pollo solo uno en plato o en, en plato gracias Well, there's too much choice here, so it's kind of hard choosing a first thing to eat. But I had to start off with a place called Tamales La Muñeca. And they've been around since 1925. That's literally over a hundred years of history. Almost a hundred years. And their tamales, according to them, they're so different that they don't sell it anywhere like this, anywhere else outside. So we got to go and try it out. Now, of course, I got the chicken with spicy chili, green chili. And because it's green chili already, I decided to put more of the green salsa on top. But I mean, let's go ahead and try this tamale out. Oh. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, there is a reason they've been around for almost 100 years and there's a reason they can claim that nobody does tamales like they do because this is really good what makes it so good well first off there's a lot of chicken in there like just it's jam-packed with meat because there's actually not that much starch but even then the starch is so fluffy it's so bouncy it sort of just melts away in your mouth the chili that's already on the inside i'm not talking about the salsa i'm talking about the chili on the inside it's got the perfect hint of spice with some fat and a sour element. I've never had that sour element in a tamale before. And it's kind of like a lemony sour element to it. And that's absolutely perfect because this thing, I mean, you can tell it's quite greasy, a little bit oily. And when you have that element there, it, it definitely balances everything out. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, I, got a, I got a friendly guy here. But it's, it's so good. It's absolutely amazing. I mean. There's a reason they've been around since 1925 and I completely understand. And the line is extremely long. Like every, all the locals know that this is a good spot. So when you come here, you, you, gotta, you gotta try out the tamales. It's literally just inside someone's house. They'll come out, ask for your order. You just tell them what you want and then they'll just hand it to you just like that. It's literally like this. I'm pretty sure this is somebody's house. So they probably live here. So family run, delicious tamales can't get better than that okay this market is massive this is just our first stop and my heart is literally beating from the excitement of the rest of the food we're gonna eat tonight what is this? sopes sopes gorditas picadillo frijol chicharrón Bistec y papa. Eh, dame uno de rajas. Ajá. Eh, uno de bistec. Ajá. ¿Y qué es eso? Chicharrón. Dame uno más de chicharrón. Claro que sí. Oh, ¿Qué es eso? Picadillo. Pica dame uno más de picadillo. ¿No eh. chicharrón? ¿Ah? Sí, ¿Chicharrón también? Sí, chicharrón también. Okay. Bistec, chicharrón. Picadillo y rajas. Eh, picadillo y rajas. Sí. Con todo, ¿verdad? Sí. Right next to the earlier stop that we were at is a place known as Senaduria Antonia. And they serve a lot of things, but I passed by, I saw them deep fry these gorditas or sopes. And I knew, I, I had to, there's no way I'm gonna walk past. I got four different ones. I got one with chicharron, with bistec, 
um, with some vegetables on it and I can't remember the last one to be completely honest with you but it's all covered in this mess of a sauce and cabbage so at this point it doesn't really matter now first off we got to start with the guayaba agua de guayaba this is a uh, water from the guayaba fruit let's go ahead and try this out oh, oh that is amazing that's so fresh it's so refreshing and you can taste the guayaba fruit but it's not like an over powering taste either oh that is that's amazing okay let's go ahead and try out the gorditas i'm gonna try out the one with the steak first because i love steak of course um so let's go ahead put some cabbage on it oh and of course of course we gotta get some of that salsa so i'm gonna pour some of this red salsa right over it all right this looks amazing let's go ahead and try this out so many things going on in that bite well the most prominent flavor peanut providing like a nutty peanutty taste i think it's from the very last thing that she adds mm -hmm. it kind of looks like beans or something but it has like a very nutty taste to it which is really really neat then of course you've got the salsa a little bit of that spiciness you've got the meat which absolutely seasons perfection it's cooked really really nice and you've got that smoky texture to that meat oh that is so good okay that's obviously the steak let's go ahead and try out the one with chicharron because that looks amazing as well i mean they all look amazing and the fact that you just like flash like deep fried them quickly just to give it that sort of like crispiness on the outside uh there's a very spicy hot sauce i'm gonna try that out too all right let's go ahead and try this one out mm. again that peanutty flavor still comes through but wow that dough i, I can't trust it the dough is so deep fried but it's so crispy so fluffy so white it's amazing the meat once again season to perfection i can't stress that enough it's so so well done oh my god i mean this is absolutely amazing the, the flavoring is just so good on these sopes but of course the peanut sauce that they put on top the lettuce the vegetables i'm not sure if it's in peanut i think it may be like just bean but it really tastes a, a lot like peanut and obviously refreshing guayaba water to help wash it all down absolutely perfect i mean right here on the streets of guadalajara this is how local people here spend their sunday nights and i completely approve of it all right i'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna get more food well as we've been waiting for our tacos literally a thunderstorm just came in and the whole city is like literally it's flooding down there right now like i'm i'm on a chair now but later my feet are absolutely gonna get wet but this place we're currently at is known as taqueria santo goyote and they are supposed to be they claim along with multiple awards that they have the best tacos in all of guadalajara that's a big claim guadalajara is the second biggest city in mexico so if you have the best tacos you have some of the best tacos in the whole world so i'm excited to see what they've got here i've gotten two different tacos but they're the same ones they're both tacos of tongue so it's the tongue of the cow what i've done is I've got to squeeze some of this lemon just right on and that's the rain right there we're squeezing it right on top and of course you gotta pour some salsa the interesting thing here is that they only have green salsa they don't have red salsa so i'm guessing that they're really good at their salsa because that's the only thing that they offer but let's go ahead oh wow this is a meaty piece of tongue let's go ahead and try this out I know why they're the best tacos in all of Guadalajara. The taco shell itself, same thing, little tortilla, nothing special about that. But the meat, the flavor on that meat is unbelievable. Like it's already very tender, it's very soft, but 
the meat flavor, it's like so, I think they might have raised it in alcohol. Look, it's got like a sort of like a red wine taste to it. But oh my God, that meat, that flavor is amazing. The salsa, what I like about the salsa is that it's actually sour. It's more sour than it is spicy. And the sourness helps to cut down on all that fattiness and oiliness from the tongue. But it's just so well seasoned, that tongue is delicious. It's tender, it melts in your mouth, but for me, the thing that sets these tacos apart from the rest of the tacos in all of Mexico is the flavor in that tongue. It's absolutely delicious, 100% amazing, and there's a reason why this place has been around for almost 40 years, and they've won so many awards claiming that they are the best tacos in Guadalajara. So when you're here in Guadalajara, you gotta try them out. This is where you're gonna get the best tacos in the entire city so it's raining like crazy this is literally turned into a river and i kind of don't want to cross because i don't want to get my shoes wet but also i don't think the storm is going to stop anytime soon i think it's only going to get worse ah such a hard choice oh gosh erika e ¿Qué más recomiendas? <risa> ¿Cuál es tu más popular? El pay de, pay de queso. Pay de queso. Bueno, dame uno de eso y uno de eso, sí. Now it may be raining, but that's not going to stop us from getting something sweet for tonight. Um, we've come to another dessert stall here in the market. Even though it's raining, some of these stalls are still open. So respect to these owners for keeping through the tough times and giving me food. But we've got two things. We've got first the Jericaya, which is a very unique dessert. Only here in Guadalajara, it's just really unique. It's a traditional dessert. It's a traditional dessert. Postre tradicional. It's very traditional. Um, but it, it looks like it's like a, a custard kind of thing. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this out. All right, let's give this a try. Oh! Wow, that's amazing. I mean, the top crispy layer, it's perfect. I mean, you've got the crispiness, you can tell it's been caramelized. But, you know, when I tried this, I thought it would, it would because it looks like a flan, I thought it would taste like a flan, but it doesn't. It's got a very more eggier custard, but also a little bit of an herbal, like, flowery taste to it. But it's a lot less gelatin and jello-like, and a lot more, like, custardy, more, even more than a flan. I don't like flan, which has that camel layer on the bottom. This doesn't have that because the sweetness is already ingrained with the egg and the custard. Oh, I prefer this way, way, way more. That's absolutely delicious. The other thing that's really popular here is his strawberry cheesecake, which actually looks amazing. I mean, just look at these big pieces of strawberries. They're just on top. All right, we're going to go ahead and try this piece out as well. Mm. Oh, what I love about this, the strawberries are absolutely fresh. I mean, they're nice, juicy strawberries. And they're not like the biggest strawberries, but they're fresh. You know that this is really, really fresh. The cheesecake is actually not very heavy. It's a really, really light cheesecake, right? And fluffy. I love that about this cheesecake. It, it's not too dense, you know, it doesn't like carry weight that's gonna go down as well. It's not over too sweet. Both of these desserts aren't overpoweringly sweet. So perfect balance of texture plus sweetness. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. I mean, the strawberries, I love how fresh the strawberries are. Anyways, it's still raining. I'm gonna finish this up and that's it for today because I am not staying out in this rain. My feet and my shoes are literally soaked right now. They, they, they cannot stand the rain anymore. So I'm gonna call it a day here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. We'll be continuing our adventures through Guadalajara and hopefully it will not rain as bad. Actually, the rain's getting a little bit better now. So um, anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.